Hi, I'm Phil Constantine. This is Travels with Phil, and we're in New Bern, North Carolina, where Pepsi was invented. Brad's drink, which was created in a pharmacy here, was marketed as Pepsi Cola in 1898, and this is the place where it was created and first sold. Right out here, uh, the uh, building is still operated uh, here on the street corner. Very nice uh, town here. And uh, we're going to show you both Pepsi and Coca Cola. Well, let's start here at Pepsi. In fact, uh, let's just go inside and see what it looks like. All right, there you go, the original uh, formula. This is now a uh, soda fountain inside. And then, as you can imagine, they offer souvenirs, everything from baby onesies to spoons to pins to uh, cigarette lighters to matchboxes to coats to hats to Christmas tree ornaments and all kinds of stuff so Mountain Dew as well a couple of other things here there you go different languages so not as bad not too bad all right let's take a look at a couple of uh, still pictures here that i also took at the outside of the building old advertisement here for pepsi cola and this is one of the actual signs that you see in the city of new Bern. it hangs out on the street post the the uh, marker outside the building 1898 and again the outside of the building uh, it's just uh, you know it looks like a regular store you know if you didn't know any difference you wouldn't know that there's uh, some history behind this particular spot and uh, you know they have all kinds of memorabilia inside uh, in fact uh, the uh, local museum has a, a entire a section uh, dedicated to uh, pepsi cola with a narration there it is with a narration done by walter cronkite all right, let's move over to Coca-Cola. Now, unlike Pepsi, which was created in the building that you saw there, uh, Coca-Cola was created in Atlanta, Georgia by this guy right here, John Pemberton. And uh, he created it as a syrup. And he had a problem. Uh, he was wounded in the Civil War, had a problem with uh, morphine. And so he was trying to find something that could help him out a little bit more that wasn't quite the problems related to morphine. So what he did was he created the syrup. Well, the place that you see here, this uh, pharmacy in Vicksburg, uh, Mississippi was the first place that it was ever bottled and that's the way it became known as the drink that we know of now Pepsi and uh, uh, Coca-Cola both came out in the 1890s and now they've been one of the biggest rivalry that's ever come around uh, as far as businesses are concerned uh, the uh, Coca-Cola story is, well, it's a lot of fighting between different business owners, uh, unwritten deals, handshake deals, uh, promises that were made, promises that may have been kept, may not have been kept, depending on which side of the argument that uh, you're on. But this is the uh, pharmacy where it was first bottled in Vicksburg, uh, Mississippi. And they have, it's, it's an interesting museum. Uh, you can go back in and you can see where all of the uh, equipment is, a lot of the original equipment, not the entire facility, of course, but uh, some of the original equipment, this would be things where storage uh, material were held up there, comes down through a tincture tube, and then it gets mixed in properly in the exact formulas. And believe me, both Pepsi and Coca-Cola were very, very precise on those formulas. Now this listing you see here and several of the other ones that you'll see later, those are all of some of these slogans that have been used by Coca-Cola. And believe me, Coca-Cola is an ex a prime example of marketing. Uh, they did a very good job of uh, getting their product out to the uh, people around the world. It's sold in over 200 countries uh, right now. Pepsi is almost uh, almost as much. And uh, these are all kinds of memorabilia they've got there. So if you've got any kind of souvenirs, uh, this is a place to go look and see uh, how your collection is. And believe me, they've got everything here. And here we go. These are uh, some of the uh, different kinds of uh, equipment they had inside. Uh, and believe me, it wasn't just a process of you know getting some uh, coca leaves and cola nuts and uh, sucking the juice out of them. No, it was a real process involved. Adding gas, uh, carbonation was one of the major things that, again, made it uh, something that, uh, you, you know, put it this way, just think of drinking uh, Coca-Cola syrup uh, as something to make your stomach feel better. And that's what both of these were created for, uh, to make your stomach feel better or to alleviate some pain. Now, these are the uh, slogans I was telling you about, and they used lots and lots and lots of slogans with Coca-Cola. In fact, it got to be a regular uh, deal that every couple of years they'd come out with a new marketing campaign with a new slogan. So it would keep uh, the product uh, on the uh, 
public's mind, as it were. Lots and lots of promotional items. These were trays to carry uh, beverages around, uh, to carry your own food on. Uh, in some cases, they became uh, TV trays for back in the uh, 50s and early 60s. Lots of thermometers. Coca-Cola had lots and lots of thermometers. Lots of different things. Lots of Christmas-related uh, items here. Everything from dolls and toys to wreaths, uh, the things you could put up on the side of your uh, uh, business to help promote their product. They would often give these away to to the uh, uh, stores. Uh, sometimes they'd sell it to them, but uh, in many cases they gave them away as a way just to advertise. And that's why you see a lot of these signs on the side of road in old stores that uh, say, you know, drink Coca Cola, then had an ad for the name of the store itself. Alrighty, there you go. That's a look at both where Pepsi first started and where Coca Cola was first bottled. I'm Phil Constantine. You're welcome to make a comment down below as long as it's family friendly. If you have never subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could press the button over here on the right hand side and sign on up. Thanks again for watching.